Right off the bat, let's start off with what's your opinion on kids lifting weight? Yes or no? When I talk about kids, we're talking about 11 year old today. The video that you guys sent in for technical analysis of an 11 year old girl hitting a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a 90 kilo clean and jerk, which is absolutely insane. Now, I started weighting for myself when I was 11 years old. Right from the get go when I started Olympic weightlifting, the whole purpose and premise of training was all about technique. So much so that in the first few competitions that I competed in, you used to get rewarded for successful lifts and people used to vote on points on how clean your technique was. So the idea behind this was to stop putting the premise on kids lifting too heavy too soon and making sure that technique was sufficient. Now, in my personal opinion, when it comes to kid lifting weights, I don't have a problem with it. Like I said, I started 11 years old with lifting some pretty heavy weights as a young lifter as well. However, there's a lot of people out there that think that kids shouldn't. Now, there's so much research, and I won't get into it because this is not what this channel is about, that supports the benefits of kids lifting weights from a resistance training point of view and developing bone strength, and that's enough for me to say this is okay. The only reason where kids lifting weights would potentially be dangerous is if their technique or their form is rubbish. However, the particular girl that we're looking at here for analysis today, her technique is extremely proficient. So we're gonna jump in now and take a look at this young lady's clean and jerk. Now I'm gonna play it through first of all for you just so you can take a look at the lift in general, see what you guys think. I'm doing it nice and slowly. I think we'll all agree this girl is from Canada and her technique is pretty insane. Not only that, but one of the benefits of being 11 years old and weightlifting is your mobility is also very good. So I think the tricky thing is, first of all, is for a girl that's lifting this provision and is obviously extremely strong, at a young age is to not put the weight up too early to the point where she's testing herself and potentially could get injured at a young age. But that's the same no matter what age you are in Olympic weightlifting. If we're looking at this purely, like I said, from a technical standpoint here, lots of great things happening right from the get-go, okay? In terms of setup position, this is perfectly proportioned. As she initiates the lift from the floor, she maintains great tension specifically here um, in her back, which is what we'd want to see. There's no breaking there as she initiates the movement. The legs are being used really well, and she's also staying on flat feet. As the bar comes past the knees here, great transition into what is referred to as like the power position, if you like here, bars at mid thigh. There's a small amount of arm bend that's happening here, but like I said to you on other videos that I've analyzed before, that amount of bar bend uh, or arm bend in this phase of the lift, not an issue, okay? Legs are still very much loaded at this point. You'll see how she transitions onto her toes a little bit early in the clean, but is still leading with the chest really well, which is what I like to see. As she comes through to her extension, this is world class. Okay, we've got the legs straightened out there, lovely, which is really good to see. After she's struck the legs, you'll also notice how close the bar is staying to the body, which is really good. And then through to the transition, look how close this bar stays to the body. So you'll notice how the arms haven't really come into play yet until she's starting to transition underneath the bar, which is exactly what should happen. The shrug only happens after the legs have extended, so the upper body is then used in the final phase of the lift. This isn't something that I generally teach to a beginner, just purely because they put the emphasis too much on the arms instead of the legs. They're ultimately doing the, the vast majority of the work. But you'll notice as we transition here into the receiving position, the elbows have come through a little bit slow in my opinion, okay? So what I'm noticing here is that as we hit night kind of 90 degrees here with the legs, you see how the elbows are still pointing down towards the floor. In an ideal world, I'd like to see this kind of elbow position kind of being more through at this point here before she comes underneath, okay? Because what we don't want is, at this point, the elbows getting too close to the knees. And you'll kind of see this now as she comes into receiving position. Although she's maintaining hook grip, which is great, you'll see how the body crashes quite heavily into the catch position, okay? So again, unreal mobility. Bum is literally on the ankles, which is great. But the issue that we've got here, that although the spine is remaining neutral, it's going from, if anything, extension 
to flexion or to neutral, back to neutral a little bit there. But ultimately, we're getting a little bit close here with elbow and knee. So one thing that I would probably implement to this leg girls training program that potentially help with this would be more core stability and strength work specifically, as well as pause front squats to develop the trunk strength for her to not fold as much into the catch position. So this does say that this is getting to an almost submaximal load for the fact that this is happening. And we can also see now as a result of that bar crashing, we've kind of lost the hook grip here. And then that's kind of hitting her. Now she stabilizes it really well and then goes to a stand, um, standing up phase. Now, what we notice here is that the knees collapse in. Now, this is something that when I was a younger lifter as well, I really struggled with. Okay, my knees would almost touch as I'd stand up out the clean. In my opinion, this is generally due to a slight weakness in the glutes and a lot of strength in the quads, which is why it's so important as a weightlifter from an accessory point of view to make sure that you're doing posterior chain specific work, glute specific work, and hamstring specific work to balance out the strength that you'll have in quads from being an Olympic lifter, just from the style that we lift. But again, the amount that her knees are moving in, it's not a dangerous amount, it's just something to be conscious of. It's very common that people will do this when they're squatting a heavy load. Now, one bit of feedback, right? When I first started Olympic weightlifting, I was taught to have my elbows as high as possible when I'm going for my jerk. Now, the idea behind this with a high elbow position is that it stops you from using the arms in the driving phase of the jerk. So obviously, you want the legs to do the work. And what I mean by that is we're trying to get from this set position, so here, all the way back to the bottom of the dip and back to here without the elbows dropping, okay? But one thing that you'll notice is that our elbows do sink before legs hit extension, which is here. So what I would suggest for this lifter now, she's becoming more and more proficient and she obviously understands the concept of using the legs instead of the arms, would be to actually in a setup position here, just set the elbows down slightly lower so that they don't alter throughout the dip. Because sometimes that altering throughout the dip can cause the bar to drive forward a little bit. You can see how she's having to sink the hips quite far back into the catch position to counterbalance the angle of the torso here in the receive. Coach is buzzing with this. Look at the face on him. <laughs> Great work, and she recovers from this, I guess, we're gonna call it power jerk, really nicely. So, all in all, an incredible lift. It's so good to see young lifter performing such proficient technique, and with such a heavy load, and I wish this girl all the best. I hope that we see her one day competing on the Olympic platform if she stays with it. That's one of the things that I think is really difficult for young kids getting into weightlifting or getting into a sport at an elite level for a young age. You end up missing out on a lot of like, normal kid things. Going to the park, hanging out with your friends, socializing, etc. And there can be a real draw to that as you go through that age range from 15 to 16. So I just hope that as this young athlete has, if I had my time again as a young athlete, has a good balance between social life, school, and all the other things that are really important in life, as well as her training. And hopefully this will help keep her dedicated through those very testing years as an elite athlete so that she stays on track and continues to uh, have so much success. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you share it with your young friends, other athletes that you know. Be sure if you're looking for a technique analysis yourself or more help, with your technique and analysis, check out the lifting zone. I'll pop a link in below this video.